Hello everyone, I'm the Solo Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V Brave New World as England. Okay, that's weird to say. But, we are back in the game, um, getting things ready. Now before I begin, I hate doing this, but I have to say it once again. Um, nice little, not a nice little rant. Like I said, I don't like doing rants, but you guys force it upon me every single time. This will be the last rant of this entire session, um, and I, hopefully the entire series. I'm not gonna say this again, I promise. Okay, but you guys have to live up to your side as well. Okay, so a lot of the bigger issues in the comment section, a lot is with pronunciation, and I've already explained that. Uh, I'm not from England. I don't get these words often. Okay, so Glasgow, that's what it looks like. That's how it's spelt. Okay, that's how I'd say it over here in Boston, Massachusetts. Not Glasgow, as it's, you know, supposed to be. Same thing down here with Gillingham, or Gillingham is what it's supposed to be, uh, but it looks like Gillingham to me. Yeah, okay, so we have Middlesbrough. Or Middlesbrough, whatever you guys say, it's it would be Middlesbrough here. Uh, we have Middlesbrough here, but it, nothing like this. I mean, there's a lot of things that just don't work, um, and they're spelled differently. And we say things differently over here, so we'd look at that word and we'd say it that way because we know that from experience. So please don't expect me to get these right. I know it may be annoying to you, but... I don't know how to pronounce that word correctly the first time I see it. Sometimes I'll get it right, other times I won't. So please bear with me and don't get annoyed because I get annoyed every single time you guys comment on it, right? You you say your pronunciation and that's helpful. Don't get me wrong. That's very, very helpful. I appreciate that. However, you don't pay attention to what other people say and there's like 50 of you that post the same comment about pronunciation of this city or whatever. So it, it that's what makes me really annoyed. I appreciate the help, but please be considerate of other comments. Okay, another big thing that was an issue was the whole Liverpool, not in Wales thing, and, and you know, Glasgow, not the capital of Scotland, and Plymouth, not in Cornwall. I, listen, I understand. I placed down the cities way before I decided, you know, hey, these should be different civilizations. They were all going to be England. <laughs> and then I went over to Ireland, I was like, wait a minute, that can't happen. No, I can't have an English Ireland, that doesn't make any sense. So... I went ahead and just changed all the civilizations after all these cities were placed down. So I went by general area. You know, Liverpool is in England, yes, but it's close to Wales and I created the, the thing of Wales. I could have changed the city down to whatever their capital is, but you know, I chose not to. And that's that's not being ignorant, that's just being smart because I wanted to get this, this series going and I actually made the map before I started the Let's Play, like right before I started the Let's Play. So. It was more of a time thing than anything else. You know, Edinburgh um, is the capital of Scotland. However, uh, I I don't know why. For some reason, I, I placed down Glasgow first. Um, and then I decided to add in Edinburgh later as a city-state, just as homage to Scotland. So I, I don't know. That's how it is. <laughs> the only true capitals, I think, in the game are London and Dublin. But that's about it. All right, let's get going. I don't like doing these rants, but again, you forced it upon me. I had to do it. I had to, you know, defend my honor because you guys don't understand sometimes in the comments and, and you make assumptions. And considering you guys don't look at comments, I can't defend myself. So this is the only way I can do it. I apologize if I, I ruined your entertainment, but that's it. That's it. That's going to be it for the entire video and hopefully the rest of the series. I'm not going to say it again. I'm going to ignore any comments otherwise. All right. Let's see, this guy, the swordsman, I guess what you can do... I want to kind of destroy these, uh, these barbarian encampments, so we're going to send you down this way. See what's going on. Uh, destroy this trireme. We are building our own trireme, however, it's not going to be done for 11 turns. The city's not really built up yet, and it has a lot of things to work on. Let's see. Yeah, it hasn't even built a freaking granary or a shrine yet. What are we at for... Oh, yes, that's right. We get to do our um, our religion soon, because we're getting a great general very, very shortly. Awesome. Now, I took a lot of uh, requests for the name thing, you know, the one true religion of the Solar Empire, and I appreciate all of you guys, uh, all of your uh, ideas. And I have chosen one, and I will s I'll name it once I get my religion. I don't know when that's going to be. Hopefully soon, because we passed the limit. So any time now, we should get a great profit. Chichen Itza has been built in a faraway land. The merchants and the traders have come. Their profits are preordained. All right, awesome. We have guilds, which unlocks East India Company, which is, you know, once you build up all the markets, 
uh, Machu Picchu, which clearly we can never build. <laughs> um, Artist Guild, which is fantastic. And, uh, could, you know, construct trading posts around the, uh, the area. This life of man appears for a short space. But of what went before, or what is to follow, we are utterly ignorant. Cool. Okay. Well, not the quote, but cool. Uh, we are in the medieval era. <laughs> All right. So that barbarian encampment is actually gone. How interesting. Why don't you come up this way, then? Yeah, come up here. Want to kind of clear out the area around me. Now, there is also one over here as well. So once we're done with uh, this barbarian encampment, I'll swing him all the way up here to take care of that. I want to kind of... I mean, we finished honor, right? So if I'm not actively killing barbarians at this point, it's not going to be worth it for me. I went down honor specifically for, you know, the reason of raging barbarians. And I, I want to live up to that and kill as many as I possibly can in the early game. I find it funny. A lot of you guys, um, you can't make up your minds. Uh, when it comes to choosing policies, if I go one way, I'll get yelled at for another. If I go that way that, that you wanted me to go that way, I get yelled at because I didn't go this way. It's, <laughs> it's like, whatever I do in this game, somebody's going to be mad. Somebody's going to be that little, ah, just angry man and, and comment. And <laughs> I just find that very funny. There's no one true way of doing things, and, and some people get really, really upset over it. I think I'm going to go into Drama and Poetry so we can work on the Writer's Guild as soon as possible. Well, then again, we don't even have an Artist Guild. We have tons of things to build. Okay, what what do we want to go for in mid the, you know, the medieval era? What is a good thing? Oh, machinery. Damn straight. Yes, we're going to go down into Engineering and then into Machinery. Is that wise? Probably not. 23 turns is a long time. What, um, I think what I'm going to do is grab engineering and then... Oh, God, I don't even know. Yeah, grab horseback riding. If we need the caravansary, then we, we're going to need the um, that tech, so... Might as well. Oh, somebody's got a worker down here. Probably Portsmouth. Well, if so, we might become allies, which is perfect. Kill him! All right, cool. Where are you going? Um, hmm. You want to build one way over there. That's because of jilling him. But you know what? I want you to build it right there. Thank you. Now, because we can only build farmland around this area, you know, these we're gonna have some pretty high produ um blah, 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 blah. high population cities. That's the word. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of a lot of population in these cities, which is really really nice. We'll get to grow very very fast. And with our tech as well. Losing grasp on Hanoi, which I believe is uh, Portsmouth. Yes. Well, we should be able to gain that back right here if that is the case that this worker is theirs. Plus, they might want this thing gone. Oh, yep, look at that. It is. Perfect. There we go. Allies. 76, too. That's not that bad. Well, there they go. Perfect. We're still coming up here. Um, does Bristol want that gone? I think so. Yep. Well, yes and no. They're worried about barbarians coming into their land. They're not actually worried about the encampment themselves. However, this might be their worker. So, whatever little bit helps. Alright, cool. Um, we're building this road. Hopefully that'll help us with our gold right now. Because it's negative 9, which is insane. Just insane. Negative 10. Come on. It's hooked up now, so it should... There we go. Back down to negative three. Perfect. I want you to come back here and work on a farm. We're getting a promotion. Good. Yes, we'll give you... I don't really know. I mean, there's a lot of open terrain in here. And I guess our only wars would be coming from the left side, or rather the west. I'm going to give you open. I think that's a, a good little... Yeah, I mean, most of the time I go for rough terrain, but considering this map, I know that, you know, in this area, it's going to be mostly open terrain, especially if we fight on the battlefield here. Um, I think that's a good choice to go down. Or, a, you know, a good promote... Oh, wait, I see something hiding in there. I don't want to go in the water. That's a bad idea. There's an encampment in there. 
Didn't somebody want that gone? Yes, you did. No, you wanted that one. Who wants this one gone? I don't know. We're getting a caravan in, in two turns. We'll be able to replace the one from Portsmouth. That was why... Yeah, okay, so the encampment that was down here was actually the one that was causing us harm. So, good. That's gone. And luckily we got our scout out of there. I'm surprised, because we got really, really trapped up here because we couldn't get past Scotland. In fact, can we open borders now? No. You don't even think... Okay, you don't even want it. Well, Scotland obviously has some uh, <laughs> issues with their open borders. They don't want anybody getting past their beautiful Great Wall. <laughs> oh, jeez. They lose their capital and they lose their minds. That's how, that's how it works. Kill you. Gain some uh, gold and some culture. How much? Ten and ten. Perfect. Alright, kill this guy. Luckily enough, there's only brutes in these uh, encampments. They could be, you know, spearmen, pikemen, uh, whatever, you know, the most advanced unit in the game is right now. Which, let's see, what's uh, our demographics? We're in seventh? Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god, that's absolutely terrible. See, the issue is that I just don't have a lot of good production around here. And this is just gonna suck, <laughs> no matter what I do. Alright, yeah. Damn. Well, what we can't... Well, we are working on Great Scientists. Which is really, really nice. This was from the Great Library. The points got, uh, you know, thrown into that. As well as... Oh, yeah, we're getting two. Because the Great Library and the Oracle. So, technically, we have a science base. Uh, it's just bringing that up. It's gonna be difficult, but hopefully it pays off. In fact, early on, it might be good to just do the, the Academy. Once we get him. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. We'll see how much science is going to give us. If it's not that much, then I'll turn him into an academy. Because overall, it may take a long time to recover, but it'll pay off in the end, I think. Now, that's not nice. We have ourselves a catapult, but the catapult's not going to do much damage to this guy. And he's going to destroy our only iron source right now. God damn it. Alright, well, kill him before you lose your strength. In fact, don't we have somebody coming up? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. So, go... Yeah, go there. Kill him. Or weaken him. Yeah, we're getting a Trium in two... Uh, bleh, sorry. Five turns. Caravan is going to Portsmouth. Yep. Yeah, continue. You're fine. I think. If you're not fine, then... I'm sorry. Regardless, we should be able to get you back next turn anyways, if he does take you. Which he didn't, but he did pillage. He didn't pillage the iron, though, which is really, really surprising. Wipe him out once and for all. Bye-bye, horsies. Alright, cool. We used our catapults, uh, effectively. Very, very effectively, yes. Okay, destroy this for Bristol. Get their worker back. Uh, side on. Yeah, it's Bristol. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we still have that one and that one, but. Well, I guess you could swing around to that one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. I mean, we're gaining culture and money here, so it's not like we're we're losing anything. So it's that you know it's perfect. I do want to start building another settler, but I am really, really behind in science right now. I don't know how that's even possible. I have the Great Library. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Absolutely none. Well, we're just going to have to try harder. Try harder, absolutely. Alright, engineering in one turn. Oh, are we spying? No, there's no spies yet. Instrumental or mechanical science is the noblest and above all the others, the most useful. Awesome, we have engineering, which unlocks the Great Wall. Wish we could build that. Can't. Uh, not that I would spend time on it anyways. Uh, aqueduct, fort, bridges over rivers, and additional trade routes. Good. Great person born. We have our great prophet. Where is he? Right there. Good. Let's go like that. Awesome. 
All right, now I'm going to send you all the way up here. In fact, before you get there, stop right there and heal. And you can heal before you head over this way, I suppose. Yeah, stop right there. Good. Attack him. Probably should just get my religion before I do anything else. Let's grab the Eastern Orthodoxy. No. Which one do I want? Eastern Orthodoxy symbol or Sikhism? I like both. I think we should stick with Sikhism. I, I like that symbol. Okay. Now, the winner actually has a religion that was um, a religion beforehand as well, I believe. Sol Invictus, which means Unconquerable Sun, which is perfect for a one true religion of the Solar Empire. I think it's awesome. All right, let's go in here and see what we can grab. So, ceremony and burial, it was not taken, obviously, enough. Um, I could get Interfaith Dialogue, which gains science when a missionary or prophet spreads religion, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. I don't know, it doesn't say how much. Could get Tithe, or Tithe, whatever you want to say. I don't know exactly how to say that word. For every four followers of the religion, that means I'd be making... Well, hmm... Okay, so say a city gets up to, like, at least 12, right? So that would be for every four followers, that's three. So three gold per city. Where this one is one happiness for every two cities. So I'm thinking tithe is going to be better for me. Yeah, I want I want to have this as, like, a backbone. I want to have, you know, it help my infrastructure. So we'll do that. And for you, I'm probably going to grab a... One of the, the temples. Um... Oh, you know what, actually? No, we're going to get Religious Community, because it's plus 1% production for each follower. So if I have 15 followers, which it would be unlikely, because that would mean, like, a level 20 city, which, you know, later in the game that helps. Um, actually, yeah, that's good. I like that. Let's do Religious Community. It helps our production. Found Religion! Soul Invictus. Awesome. All right, we have our new religion for the Solar Empire. You can go over there and repair. Thank you very much. Now, I, like I said, I do want to start considering my second or third city, rather, right in here. However, you see, if I fall behind, I'm going to get screwed. And I already am falling behind in cities, so I am go Are you attacking me? What? Get out. Get the hell out. <laughs> what the heck? I've never seen a barbarian boat decide to attack my cities before. That's hilarious. <laughs> Wow, alright. That's new. Okay, how about this? We build this, you know, the National College before we build our, our Settler. But after the National College, we build the Settler. I think that works. That way there, we get the thing that's going to set us back. Not set us back, okay. To build a National College, we need libraries in every single city. So, if I built my city, I couldn't build the National College. So, build it beforehand, I can see. I, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, they want sugar. Sugar. I don't think you'll be getting any sugar. For a while, at least. Unless somebody has it that they want to give to me. But I don't... Yeah. Hmm. Can we get open borders with Cornwall here? Hello again. Go ahead. What? Neither pl Oh! Oh, so that means that Scotland has civil service. Makes sense. There we go. You are dead once and for all. Good. Very, very nice. Now we're working on our workboat, which would take 16 turns. Jeez Louise. I mean, it's not like we can build anything else for production. I mean... It's... <laughs> it's focused on grabbing the tiles that aren't production. That's, that's the thing that, that gets me. I already built a, a water mill over here, right? No, I haven't, so... Why can't I build one? It's on the river. Got to build something beforehand, maybe? Probably, yeah. Alright, well, after that, build me a shrine, and then... I suppose a granary, yeah, sure. Now, that being said, you know, with the whole falling behind in cities. That doesn't necessarily mean that we'll ever fall behind in science. Well, we could catch up with science with two cities. If we were just strengthening these two cities, we could we could obviously, you know, um, gain science, you know, better over time, but um, 
that would take a long time. So, no, we're gonna start settling some more. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Awesome, we have horseback riding. Good, that'll help us out. We are falling a little bit behind with our happiness. Uh, 15 turns. <laughs> I know it's a long time. We'll be able to get uh, whales, but we are gonna have to start working on some coliseums. I don't think we have any, which is the funny thing. You know, maybe I'm just picturing us a little bit farther into the future, but I'm really worried about our litter. Oh, wait. No, yes. Okay, we only got, like, two techs since then, and we bumped up two. So, I think I'm just overthinking this. All right, let's see. Metal casting? Probably. We need workshops. Absolutely. I need to think of the better of my, uh, my people, and right now there's, like, barely any production. Yeah, London has 16 production. That's it. Uh, I mean, we'll be gaining these, la these, um... Gillingham is three. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, we'll be gaining these lands down here, but it's just insane. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. Alright, go after this guy. Good. Double attack of the barbarian encampments to the east. Unit promotion, awesome, where are you? Oh, right there, good. We'll give you boarding party, and we'll have you attack this guy. Very nice. Oh wow, barbarian killed near was this low stuffed or lower stuffed, whatever you want to say. Uh, this is how it's written down on the map, low stuffed. I heard a lot of people correct it to lower stuffed. I don't know what it's called, but that is apparently the Vatican City. So, there. <laughs> Vatican City, here we come. Religious, so that should help us out if we become friends. I don't know how much it'll give us, but we're only making one right now. Jeez Louise. <laughs> what would be nice is if we get, like, a, a Golden Age soon. I don't think- no, we're not even anywhere near close to a Golden Age. God damn. Uh. <laughs> Well, I think another city down here would be beautiful. You know, have one right on that river. Have one obviously up here. I Now, I am not going to have this one on the uh, the coast up here. Although it would be nice. I want to grab as much of these as possible. The, the truffles. Uh, so I, I won't put it on the coast. Alright, let's see. Open terrain 2. And why don't you... Okay, you know what? Why don't we come up here to this guy and just wipe him out for Carnifron. Or... Carni... Car yeah. Carnifron. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, I don't know. So somebody pointed out that aesthetics handles a lot of the uh, the tourism in the game. Well, that's not necessarily correct. You know, it, it, it improves culture. Yes, there are some things in here that, uh, that helps out tourism. Cultural exchange gives us um, increased tourism modifier with... Shared religion, trade routes, and open borders. But that's awesome, don't get me wrong. By the time we hit that, we'll hopefully get our, tra our tourism up and running. Um, that being said, you know, there's a lot of... Most of these are actually culture. Uh, you know, you see we get 50% of excess happiness added to the uh, culture per turn. What else? Monuments, amphitheaters, basically culture buildings are built 50% faster. Culture increased by 33% in all cities, which is, you know, awesome. Uh, and we enter a golden age, and also a great artist appears. So I don't know what you're talking about with tourism, uh, besides this one and the you know the last little bonus. But that's about it. Plus we get to build Uffizi, which is where it's in. Oh, right there. Okay, what is this? Culture two. Uh, one free great artist uh, appears in the city where the wonder is built, and contains three slots of great work. That's awesome. We're going to try to rush, like, not rush that. We're going to try to get that once we get to that point in time. Right now, I'm going to grab cultural centers, I believe. We don't have much happiness to work with, so I'm not going to grab this one yet. There we go. Perfect. So, now when we build culture buildings, like the amphitheater, or opera... What's next? Do we already build the amphitheater here? No. Well, where is it? <laughs> I saw it somewhere. Do we not even have the tech for it? Oh no, it's in drama and poet. Oh god. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm thinking too much ahead here. I, <laughs> that's my problem. 